Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Bear Barris. In this next video, we'll be setting up Mechum. So first things first, I'm going to change a few little settings so I can see something a little bit better. So I'm going to go to our display settings and set 1440 by 900. I'll move this over. There we go. I'll close that. And what I'll do is, since BG Info likes to mess up the resolution when you change it, I'll just fix it just like that. So there's our command, right? All right, now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to click on our browse to our Mechum configuration manager. We're going to go here to CD retail and we're going to double click our splash HTA. I'm going to close this window and here we go. We're going to click install. Yes. Next. Install configuration manager primary site. Next. Install the evaluation edition. Next. I'm going to accept all three of these. Okay. Which is here. I accept the license terms. Next. Now, we used previously downloaded files, which we did download, so I stored them in that share. So we're going to paste them there. Click Next. It should see all the files there within a few moments. Okay, there we go. Next. Next. And now we're here. We're going to call our site PS1. CM Lab Headquarters site. So that's our primary site one. And we're going to install this to the D drive. Okay? D, not E. D. There we go. And then next, we're going to install this primary site as a standalone site. Next, click yes. Everything is good there. Click next. We're verifying that our SQL Server data file is in e database and G logs, which is good. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on configure the communication method on each site, just like this. And we're going to click clients will use HTTPS when they have a valid PKI certificate, because we're going to set up PKI a little bit later. Next, I'm going to click on HTTP for right now. On both of these. Like I said, we'll fix that later. We're going to uh, create a certificate authority and we'll set up PKI as well. Next. Next. Yes, let's get connected. Next. And next. Now it's running its prerequisite checks and there's two that it shows. It'll show the server 2012 and 2012 R2 lifecycle, which we're not worried about. We're running server 2022. And the network access account, which we did not create because when we set up PKI, we won't need one. It says here, the site server configured with HTTPS and enhanced HTTP does not require a network access account. So we'll be setting up um, HTTPS and won't need one. So we're good. Our two warnings can be bypassed. Click begin install. And we're going to wait for all green check marks. So this is going to take a while. So go get some coffee, maybe uh, 20, 30 minutes from now, and I'll see you then. Okay, so we wait for all steps to have green check marks. There we go. We're good. Close. Exit. I'm going to right click start. Run services.msc and we're going to click on startup type make sure all of our services are good not worried about software protection or Microsoft Edge all right now we're going to do this one more time start CMD run as administrator and we're going to make sure that the services that we um, have here 
are good. So I'm going to click on here and there we go. There's a failure in one of the services, which is the SMS reset. Hmm. I wonder why that one. Let's see what happens. Maybe it doesn't. No, it says success. Okay. Where did I see? Did I see a failure? Oh, because CCM exec doesn't exist yet. That's fine. Understandable. Because it doesn't have the um, client on it. And that's okay. Yeah. No worries. So we'll just close this. And then 30 minutes until a restart. Okay. So what we're going to do. So we're going to I'm going to make the timer which is 1800 seconds which is 30 minutes and I'm going to have it count down okay and then once that's done we'll shut down and restart okay and I will see you then Okay, we're back, and we're going to restart our machine, so shut down, minus R, minus T, one second, Oop. put a little slash there, all right, Okay, we're going to log back in. Okay, start, CMD, right click, run as administrator. I'm going to time out. seconds or three minutes no break we'll come back after that and then we'll check our services make sure that our services pipe timeout went through five four three two one okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy from 103 to 101 services.msc should open up we're going to make sure all of our services are running. We're not worried about software protection in Microsoft Edge, like I said. But all of our SQL services and everything seem to be running. Configuration Manager seems to be running. So I'm going to close that. Server Manager, I'm going to open that up. Make sure it's good. that a few moments there we go all green close that now we're going to go here start and open up configuration manager console Okay, we're going to go down here to Administration, Expand Site Configuration, Sites. We're going to see our PS1 here. Click on Hierarchy Settings up here. And uncheck the Only Allow Console Extensions that are approved for the hierarchy. Click OK. Close. And we're going to reopen Now we're going to go to monitoring. We're going to go to system status, site status. 
verify it's all green. Component status, verify we're all good. Warnings we can uh, not worry about. As long as it's not red, we're good. Go to administration, updates and servicing. You see this ready to install, which is our newest one. Remember we said we're gonna update to 2309. We don't have to worry about the 2303 hotfix rollup because this will take care of that. We're going to right click on that, click install update pack. We're going to click ignore any prerequisite check warnings and install this update regardless of missing requirements. Click next. I'm going to click all three of these new features. Next. Upgrade without validating is fine. I'm going to click I accept these license terms and privacy statement. Next. I'm going to uncheck Enable Cloud Attach. Next. And next. And close. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a half an hour. So I'm going to start CMD. Command prompt for this administrator. And I'm going to grab the timeout. And there we go. And I'm going to let that run. And then we'll come back when it's done. Hey everyone. It got pretty late last night, so I just let this cook overnight. That's okay. We'll close this. So you can see it says a new version of the console is available. If we click on show status, it's going to click, you're going to click OK, click yes, and it's going to download that new, that new console for us. Give that a moment. It'll install. I'll come back when it's uh, open. Okay, it's going through its updating extensions portion. What we're going to do is, first I'll just clear this. That's just for Windows activation. When we get into the console, we're going to clear notifications in the Configuration Manager console. There should be from, I think there's five of them. We'll see. Um, when this does open, what we're going to do is we're going to fix some of these services again. And the reason why is when it, it installs an update, it uh, reinstalls those services. So we're going to fix that. Here it comes, connecting the site database, and here we go. So what we'll do is we'll go on administration, updates and servicing, and you can see it's installed. If you click on show status here, and then right click, show status, you can see replication was good. The only prerequisite check that uh, has a warning is the co-management workload slider which we're not using any cloud resources these features are uh, not applicable to what we're doing the installation everything is green and post installation everything was green so we're good all right so let's click here on notifications uh, bell okay there's a few there Close those. There we go. Okay, and we'll close that. Now we'll go over here. Start CMD. Run as administrator. Yes. And we'll go from 187 all the way up to 170. Copy. Paste. And then we'll go down here. We'll pin configuration manager to the start menu. We're also going to click on more, and we're going to pin it to the taskbar. So it'll be here. Okay, and that's pretty much the setup, and I will uh, get to the next video. Talk to you all later.